So dear students, we will be learning how to prepare triple column or three column cash book from Telugu Academy textbook which is prescribed by the Board of Intermediate Telangana State and Andhra Pradesh State and this particular triple column or three column cash book it comes for your examination in the month of May board exams for 10 marks. So thoroughly follow my tips what I am giving how to prepare three column cash book and if you like my video please do share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe and any comments please pass on to my gmail now i will be starting problem number 15 from telugu academy textbook triple column or three column cash book so 2018 It is June 1st. Opening balance of cash 12,500. Cash at bank 14,800. So I will take on the debit side as opening balances. Two balance were down. So June 7th, purchased goods from a shop and paid by check 5000. So it is a payment which we are making by bank. So it is on the payment side, June 7th. By purchases. So we take 5000 in the bank wallet because we are giving check. June 10th, cash payment to bank. So, if you see my notes, Roman letter 1, contra entries, paid into bank is a contra entry. So, whenever contra entry comes, it should be posted twice on the debit side as well as credit side. So, the simple way is that you should make a journal of that particular transaction and make the letter posting. So, if you see, Paid into bank, bank is the receiver, we are giving cash. So I take on the debit side of bank account. 1800 in bank account. And LF column will take C, which denotes contra. And date is 10th. And the particulars will be opposite. What is opposite to bank? It is to cash. And credit side is cash. I'll take on credit side. I mean payment side in the cash column. 1800. And particulars will be opposite. Opposite to cash is bank. So I'll take my bank account. And next one on June 12th, cash paid to Lakshmi 1850 and discount received 240. So we are paying cash, it is a payment. By Lakshmi.
Now on June 16th, cash withdrawn from bank for office use. If you see my notes, Roman letter one, contra entries, point B is withdrawn from bank for office use. So which is a contra entry. So contra entry, it, it will be posted twice on the first time debit side, second time on the credit side. Two sides posting will come. So simple way is that make a journal entry of it, make a journal entry of it and make the ledger posting. So cash withdrawal from bank for office use, we are receiving cash and giver is bank. So debit side and pay in the cash column 2000. And LF column C means contra. And what it goes to be opposite to bank. And trade sale will be bank. I take in the bank column 2000. And LF column will be C, which denotes contra. But it does opposite. What is opposite to bank? It is cash. So I think by cash. So June 19th, sold machinery and amount received through Paytm. So Paytm is nothing but a bank transaction. So here we are sending machinery and we are receiving money through bank account by Paytm. So I will take on the debit side, receipts column, 19, two machinery, By advertisement expenses account. One fifty in cash column. And twenty eighth June received check from Vishnu one thousand nine eighty discount allowed one twenty Vishnu check deposited into bank. So that means we are receiving Vishnu check. And same day we are sending to bank. So if you see in my notes, Roman letter 2, check treatment. If you see point number A, whenever check is received and sent to bank same day, then it is taken on debit side of bank column. Directly they should put into bank column. So receive check from Vishnu, Vishnu check deposit into bank. So it is Point A. Twenty eight to Vishnu account one thousand nine eighty in direct bank column one twenty in discount column June 30, the last transaction of problem number 15 of Telugu Academy textbook, triple column cash book or three column cash book, salary is paid by check. So directly we put it in the payment side, bank account 3,280. Say it is 240. 
Now we will see cash on the debit side, cash on the credit side, totals. So if you see the debit side total is higher with 12,500, 3,000, 2,000. So debit side is higher. So we will take first debit side total. Same amount we will put on the credit side also. And from this you should deduct all the payments what you have made. All the cash payments should be deducted from the receipts amount 17,500. Then you will get the closing cash balance. That is 13,700 and after that again you should go to bank account and debit side bank and credit side bank you should check which side is having more total. So here on the debit side you have more total 14,800. So it is coming to 20,980. So I'll put the same amount here also. So from 20,980, you should reduce or deduct what all bank payments you have done. Check payments, Paytm payments, Google payment, what all payments you have done through bank, all should be deducted. So it is coming to 10,700. So this is in regard to month of June. We will have closing day of the month that is June 30. We will take by balance carry down. So 13,700 is there in the cash account as closing balance for the month of June and in the bank there is 10,700 as closing bank balance in our account. So this will be carry forwarded to next month of opening day for next month transactions. So this is we have done in regard to month of June, the next month will be July. July 1st, two balance brought down. So this closing balances of 13,700, 10,700 will be carried forward to next month starting date that is 13,700 and 10,700. So, dear students, with this we have completed problem number 15 of 3 column cash book or triple column cash book from Telugu Academy textbook which is prescribed by the Board of Intermediate Education, Telangana State as well as Andhra Pradesh State. And if you like my video, please do share with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe for me and you can pass any comments on this video through my Gmail. Thank you.